On a beautiful spring day in April, 102 students from some of the most prestigious universities and colleges across the United States and Canada converged on the University of Chicago's Polsky Center for the 2017 UChicago Midwest Trading Competition, an opportunity for students to test their algos on Trading Technologies Pro platform and to network with Chicago's prop trading community. From TT's perspective, um, we, you know, we make professional futures trading software. It's kind of a niche industry, so futures and options, you know, Chicago's the hub of that, but I don't think it's recognized nationally or globally the way that equities markets would be. So anytime that we can expand awareness for the industry, that's a positive thing. And getting engaged with young students that are looking to come into this field is just a really positive experience. It, it gives us a couple of opportunities. First, to just help educate them about the industry, about trading in general, about what what it makes what makes up a trader, being a trader, what the industry entails. So, if they want to go into trading directly, um, you know, they're they're learning about that. But then also, it's just the the trading industry is is fairly large. So, there's lots of roles and opportunities just around trading in general. As much as you can put your work into your algorithms and such, I think coming to the competition and actually having it played on real data um, was really surprising and exciting for me personally because, you know, you get this thing that you think will work, but in real life, you know, things don't always happen the way you expect it to. So it was really cool to see how all the things you take for granted every day, like the stock movements and such, um, there's so much work that goes on behind the scenes of that. And being part of this competition was kind of our part and trying to participate in this behind the scenes, like what actually happens when you buy a stock? What actually happens when things crash? The Midwest Trading Competition is probably, it's my favorite event that we go to every year. Uh, the main reason for it is we see very strong candidates or students. I think some of the brightest and smartest students are attending and competing in this competition. Uh, we have four of our hires who are actually here today. Um, a lot of the people that we interview are actually in attendance, so it's exactly the profile that we're looking for. Um, all of the students are very dedicated, they're competitive, they're smart, so it's kind of, if we had a pool of people that we wanted to meet, it's right here today. Uh, so one of the things that I really like is the application of math, uh, and I'm really interested in things like technology and things like uh, quantitative finance, where you can use more of the rigorous techniques that I learned in school. Uh, so this one was it was an amazing competition to get my feet wet, to get started in the process, get to know recruiters, and start start learning more about just like how how they make money and what are what are the strategy what strategies they use. Especially coming from Amherst, like we don't have a finance major or anything like that, so it was a really really good experience uh, in that way. Uh, I, I think what the the best part about this competition we find out a lot of students who are interested in markets, are interested in trading, and just getting to meet the people who are interested in it you really wind up meeting the people that Group One wants to meet. That's correct. We, we've gone to this event a number of times before, and the, what's interesting about it is we find that young kids coming out of college are the ones that are best suited to solving the new problems, that you can have a trader with 10, 15 years experience, but when you have a young kid coming out of college, they have, that, that new perspective is something that we really value uh, at Group One. So this is a great place to meet those problem solvers. What's interesting is that in the markets, when from a thousand different perspectives, it's a, it's a rate of constant change. When I started, it was open outcry only on the CBOE floor. Now it's a tremendously uh, you know, electronic exchange with all different order types and different ways people interact with the market. And what you find is that older types tend to kind of latch on to what they did before, and younger kids are very much into the idea that it's changing. And they'll ossify too someday, like the rest of us. But in, in our experience that working with these younger kids has wind up being a big eye-opener for what we're trying to get at.